Alright, this is going to be a little bit of a late start. Welcome, welcome. This is uh, pretty much a proof of concept of... I think it might be pretty fun to have people send me their save files that they get stuck on in single player. Where they're stuck in a fight and they think it's possible, but haven't done it. Also, thank you for the follower, Peepsy Girl. Where they think a fight's possible, but just can't quite manage to clutch it out. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we were sent. Oh, where I was taking a look at what I was sent. I do not have the save file correctly. Let me see if I can fix that. Alright. Go ahead and change this. Should be the correct save file now. Yep, but here it is. Uh, in the Fadeborg Forest, he sent me a file where he is stuck at the... Bunny encounter, I believe this is Madness Zero. He's running a very big uh, poison build here. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. I'll try to bring my OBS up a second. Oh, thank you, Peepsy Girl. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. We've got some uh, bunnies fight here. They multiply. If they all don't die in the same turn, so you'll want to kill them all in the same turn. Very tricky fight. So what we're going to want to do first is... I want to take a look at his perks since I never looked at him. I know he's got the Thorns perk where he's going to poison every time he... Or no, he doesn't. I thought he was had the Thorns perk, unless I was mistaken. But we can actually do Thorns damage with Heiner. And he is missing a few of the block perks, unfortunately, to get even more block. And then we'll go through his deck. Deck is mostly defense. Hard wires. I'm doing pretty good, Peepsy. Hope you're having a great day. Steel Forge is going to help us a lot here. For what I actually did do this fight before and figured out a way to beat it. Heavily, heavily invested in poison damage. Which is uh, not the worst thing, but against these guys, they're going to multiply if you don't kill them in the same turn they... Or if they get to move off, so killing them with poison is usually very, very bad. Uh, is he, does he have th poison thorns? No, he's not running poison thorns. This is a good thing to do when you're like running up group wide thorns, is to grab this poison thorns on everybody in the group. Make sure poison builds really pop off. I wonder if anybody has that perk. Uh, no. I think it's just Heiner that has the, uh, thorns don't expire. But somebody is running the perk on this one where your bleed, uh, acts like poison, does damage at the end of the turn, which is pretty bad for this fight. But, alright, enough criticizing. Or not criticizing, but analyzing the situation. Uh, let's see if we can't go ahead and beat it. So, what we're gonna want to do is probably I think I usually start off playing replenishment give everybody two and then go full and save that for another turn oh that's never good oh uh, we don't really want to start attacking 
I think I can get a free hit out of that. Or is he running poison? He's probably running the poison. Oh wait, he's not level 3. I am a fool. And we're just gonna wait with duels. Sometimes the best moves you can make is just doing nothing at all. And that's very true for this fight here. Uh, we're just gonna play Yinrit Joel and get some regen on everybody. And uh, we'll do a Dark Earthquake as well. Get some dark stacks on the back one there. Could be full health for a bit. Helping hand get through Wilbur a little bit faster. Steel Forge, very important. I'm actually going to try building up Thorns and see what that does for Heiner. Because I thought he was building for, uh... Yep, have a good one, Pepsi. Poison Thorns, but... Now that I know he's not building for Poison Thorns, I might be able to this around a little bit. Alright, here's what we wanted right here was this librarian. We're gonna save the game. We're gonna want to grab Winter Knight's Tail. And then with that we play it and we get two winter orbs out of that. So we're gonna wanna draw. Draw. Twin scrolls the winter orb into uh pool of sand. We might actually be able to win here this turn. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna play Squall. We're gonna play the Winter Orb. And we're gonna charge Battery 1. I might be blowing my load a little bit early, but we'll still be fine. The reason I put the Winter Orb in Tools of Sands is because he's got this Black Talons card, which is gonna make uh, every hit of his do uh, extra damage. So, gonna kill that. Gonna finish that one off. And then we're going to Winter Orb. And then we're gonna just blast that one. And then for this one, we're just gonna build up Fortify on on uh, Wilbur because we know he has this yellow winter orb right there. But Lucas should be able to finish this because we preemptively stuck that stack that dark. Mm. And then yeah. That's how you beat Bunny. That was uh two turns. I'm probably gonna reload that and try that again. And make it a little bit of a longer fight. But, yeah, I, I really enjoy doing these disaster battles, so might have to make more of these videos in the future. If you ever have a disaster battle, you want to have one of your saves saved, just uh, DM me on Discord. All right, let's go ahead and retry that then. So give me one second. All right. Might actually have to cut this short, but I still think I might make that into a short little YouTube video. Just to give an example. All right, let's go ahead and uh, reset that save data. Recopy it. And then there should be fresh from the start of the fight. And we'll see what happens when the, if we try to fight the fight normally. Still start off with a skillful replenishment. This on himself. This on himself. And twin scrolls is there. And then let's keep fighting as normally, play a little bit. Uh, 
throw my addiction. Just pretend we don't know what the bunnies are doing. Or what they have in store for us. So, uh, I'm probably helping hand Maluka. Knowing that she has uh, two holy storms in her deck. And then we'll definitely see how bad this fight can get. Yeah, right here. They're just endlessly multiplying. Uh, hmm. So I did mess up the RNG a little bit, so I'm not gonna get my uh. card where I can, uh, or the Winter Night's Tale, but I do have a Grimoire of Fire, and that does not expire, so what I can do is just start loading people's decks up with fireballs. And I'm not going to play Black Talons yet, I'm just going to keep going around poisoning things as I would if I was playing this fight without really having a game plan and just trying to get through it. And we'll throw some dark out with Maluka, try to heal everybody up. The rabbit's scary. Venelic would probably be good. Play the replenishment again. Charge battery for ourselves. Poison Rain. Looks like all of his cards are in this deck is meant to uh, persist until the next round. Or persist it for the whole battle. Which isn't a bad thing. It just uh, makes it hard to get better draws when you're Digging for certain things. We will play both these healing rains so we can get them out of the deck. Fortunately, they play Rabid Bite as the third card, so Thorns isn't going to be uh, counted to this fight. But we did have a good setup here where there's only three left. Two of them have a... Uh... Uh, let's try and see if Souls can end it if he draws the Fireballs. And give him a whole bunch of Inspire. Yep, we got uh, two of the fireballs. And the Bane, which should do a good bit of damage. First, we're going to Viper Strike that. Get rid of the evasion. Fireball. Fireball. Toxic. Toxic. Uh, double this one. And then we'll see if uh, Heiner and Maluka can pick up the rest of the damage. Alright, this one's dead because it's on fire. Great. Oh, having a shield slam on Heiner would be so money right now. Alright, this one's dead, but I don't... 
if we have enough flow right here to slow this one down to go after Wilbur. So, go ahead and do that. And then although we're not killing it, Wilbur is going to be able to, or should be able to pick up the kill, provided he gets a damaging spell. Oh, nope, the shock's going to do it for us. So, <laughs> barely won this one. But I think we still would have been good by putting more fireballs into other people's decks. So, yep, that was two ways to win this disaster battle. Different amount of turns. Jazz did uh, end up messaging me, or not messaging me, but posting on the Discord that he was able to beat himself with a few tips. So, very glad to see that. He's gonna give up, he viewed it. Got it done. Awesome job, Jazz. And uh, this will be it for the stream. Thanks for showing up. If you are here, you're awesome. Great. And love y'all. Peace.